Steve Gadd. Arguably the most iconic and versatile drummer of his generation. Equally at home playing blues, funk, or jazz. In these past few weeks, there's something I haven't been able to get out of my head. It's a video of a clinic Steve did. I think it's from Manhattan School of Music. If you're a fan of Steve's, you might know the one I'm talking about. Right near the beginning, somebody asks a question about the Asia solo, and Steve breaks down the one to three idioms he used in the solo. Well, I've been doing a deep dive on what I call the Boogada this past month. But Steve took the Boogada to a different place, a more fusion-y place, in a good way. So I've been hearing a lot of Steve Gadd stuff in my head, and I wanted to do a video about it. I mean, who doesn't want a video on Sir Steve Gadd? So this week, a breakdown of Steve's breakdown of his licks. And some cool, I think, new shapes you can make with Steve's idioms. Stay tuned. Guys, just a quick note to let you know that if you're learning these and you want to read them, you do not need to transcribe them yourself. We've done it for you. You can download a transcription free by clicking the link below the player. Okay, on to the lesson. Let's first talk about the two idioms Steve introduced at the MSM Masterclass. The first is the classic Boogada, which I've covered in recent videos, but let's look at Steve's version. So, as I said in the Boogada lessons, there are multiple flavors of Boogada from to Two. But for Steve, we're going to look at two. One is simply left, right, kick. And the other is right, left, right, kick. So already with those two, you can play things like three, four. So this is the basic boogada and the first of the two idioms that Steve broke down at the MSM Masterclass. Now let's talk about the second major idiom Steve discussed at that MSM Masterclass. The quasi sort of six stroke roll thing. So the six stroke roll thing isn't really a proper six stroke roll because that would be right, left, left, right, right, left, right. And in the Steve thing, you need to leave space for the tom sweep. So it's really right, left, left, right, left, right. You can also do it kick left, right, right, left, right. So that would be. But I prefer it with the double notes on the left. I think that makes more sense. It feels more like a real six stroke roll. So right away you can do a couple things. You can play the six stroke roll into a couple of boogadas. And you can play around with phrases like Finally, you can do one of my favorite things, which is to make an eight beat phrase out of two groups of three and one group of two. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, which would sound like this. Three, four. A little slower. Three, four. You can make all sorts of combinations with that. You can also start it in multiple different places. And one thing I like to do is combine that with a real six stroke roll with rim shots. So. Finally, you can do the six stroke roll thing, but do a double stop at the hand in the foot at the beginning, which would sound like this. So that's the second of the two idioms Steve discussed at the MSM Masterclass. 
Now, Steve didn't call this its own idiom, but I think the third major motif of that masterclass deserves its own breakdown. The papadoo 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 thing. So the papadoo 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 is just or which is really just a herta, which as I mentioned in the Bugada lesson is a group of two nested doubles within a group of three. So instead of It's, and it's really that simple. You're just orchestrating to the toms. So, two, three, four. And if you're thinking of it as nested 30 seconds within a 16th note, it would be three e and a four e and a. E and a four e and a. So, as you may have noticed, there are two main places you might want to start this. One is with the kick on one, or at the beginning of the phrase. So three, four. And the other is with the snare drum or the rim shot at the beginning of the phrase. So three, four. Now let's look at how we might put all these things together and play our own solo based on Steve's idioms. Plus, I'll give you a couple of extensions that I've been working on. So when we think about putting this together into our solo, I want to really restrict ourselves to just Steve's vocabulary because it's going to be so tempting to just jam out with the stuff we're already familiar with, but that's not how you really absorb new vocabulary. You want to force yourself to the narrow confines of just playing that vocabulary. So we're going to drill with three things. One is in a triplet or sextuplet context. Another is And the variations. And finally, the herta. Keep in mind that when you're switching from the first two to the third, you're really switching from a sextuplet context to a 16th and 32nd one. So you'd have an idiom that might sound like you hear how that switched from sextuplets to sixteenths with nested 30 seconds. So I'm going to try to improvise with this a little bit and we'll see how it goes. So that may be a challenge because you're not able to deploy the things you'd instinctively want to do, but it's important to try to stick to C's vocabulary. Improvise with it more and more, it'll start to come out in your own playing and be patient about it. Now I want to show you two things that you can do to extend on these and make them a little more your own. And these are my own versions of this. So you can also orchestrate that like this. Because of course you can do anything you want with that left, right. But my favorite is You can also alternate between and so and that's especially cool when you go so that's one I've been playing with the other one is you can actually reverse the six stroke roll And what that opens up to you is you can play double stops with the kick. So. Just a couple of the other things I've been experimenting with. Anyway, this is where I'd usually say, and that's how you get the gig, but they tell me Rational Funk might be coming back. So until we know for sure, I'm gonna hold off on that. It's all yours, Dave. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And just a reminder, if you'd like to download the complete transcription, we've got it down below. Just click the link below the player, enter your email address in on the next page. And maybe some of you have been watching the channel for a while. Maybe you've been lurking, maybe you've been lurking in the comments. You think maybe you're ready to study with me. Maybe you're ready for the complete system I use to go from eh, eh, to eh, 
and which I've coached hundreds of students through successfully. I'm talking, of course, about the 80-20 coaching course, which is like three to six months of studying with me for around the price of a single lesson. But we only open it up a couple times a year and it's exclusive to people on my mailing list. That's why I'm gonna give you guys a twofer. If you wanna grab the transcription to this lesson and also get on the mailing list, just click the link below the player and click the first link on the next page. That's it, you'll get your transcription, you'll be on the list free and clear. If you wanna get the transcription but you're not interested in being on the mailing list, just click that second link. You can get the transcription with no mailing list sub. Dudes, it's been real, always enjoy these. See you again soon in another lesson of the week.